Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we're going to upgrade the memory in the uh, new aluminum MacBook. So, uh, this is OWC memory. It was $71 shipped. But it's after tax and everything from uh, OWC. And the, the uh, memory type is actually, it says Nanya on it. They're actually, this is actually the exact same memory that came in the last MacBook, the uh, brand wise. It's DDR3 1066. So what you need is, you got your RAM, you got your MacBook, you need a jeweler's, um, or like, you know, a glasses screwdriver, and I have a towel here just so we can flip this upside down and not scratch it. So let's bring this into view here. So the first thing you're going to do, pop this up and remove this bottom plate. <clears throat> it actually tells you how to uh, remove the battery, hard drive, and memory. And we'll do that. Now, I, I previously wanted to make sure all these were loose. This one was really tough to get loose. Don't know why, the rest were easy. So I loosened it a little bit just so I don't strip it out. You want to be real careful with them. And there are, I forgot to show you this, but there's eight screws. There's four here, four here. So we'll go ahead and, and get those. You want to be real careful. They look like they have a little bit of Loctite on them, actually. Maybe why it's stuck in there so so uh, hard. They're really tiny. So I'm giving this a little bit of pressure. It seems to be a little bit stubborn, and I don't. The last thing I want to do is strip these. So, I've got these, little ones. Now these, these here are littler than, than these here, uh, size-wise, at least the, the head of them is. Uh, the actual area where the screwdriver goes, this is a Phillips head, uh, is tiny as well. I don't know if you can see that, how small that is in my hand there. I mean, it's tiny, tiny. So let's get this. Now, I know just from watching other videos, and you may also, that this screw, I believe it's this one, yeah, this one is shorter than the rest. So you have to remember where that one came out. Go right across here. Yeah, see? Nice long screw. And I guess the rest of them are like that. I don't know, I haven't had these out. Uh, now they were locked it in. I'm not going to re-lock tight them, that's kind of being perfect, but that's it right there. And I guess this just pulls off. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the underside. And you can see the fans drive. And you have um, your battery and that sort of thing. Uh, we probably should take this out. <clears throat> now you want to make sure you shut this down first, obviously. If you haven't seen this, you can see this is, I almost wonder if this is, if the same cells in it is the 17 inch, just because of how thin that is. <clears throat> and there's your hard drive. So here's your memory. To remove that, you want to make sure you're grounded. Um, you don't want to zap the memory or you're in trouble. So we go ahead and pull this, pull this, and I'll show you picture and they pop up like that. So a tab here and a tab here you just push them apart real gently. So let's see what's in here. Hynix Korea. So it's they're pretty much using they're pretty much using generic RAM anyway. So it goes in this way. So see this slot? This way. Okay, and we're gonna pull up this one. Oh we pull these tabs again. It rises up and we pull it out. So there's our two gigs of RAM. So here's the new one. And make sure we put it in right. So you're going to slide it down in like that. It stops. It comes right to a stop. Goes in real easy. Push it down. That's it. All the pins are in. It fits in there nicely. 
open the second one here. And uh, so here we go again. Look for the pins. There we go. It's in all the way. And push it down. So that's really it. I think that's in there. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's not going to go any further. So there we go. This OWC memory has a lifetime warranty. You just don't remove the sticker. So let's put the old memory in here. I always keep these around just in case. I have a bad memory module. Uh, Apple tells you how to replace it. They say you can't void your warranty by replacing it with RAM. But if they ever question it, I have the RAM here. I just set this aside in the box the Mac came with. Just hang on to that. So let's go ahead and put this back on. Now there's a little latch mechanism here. This little bar. Make sure you can see that. Yeah, this little bar here. You can see the latch. Uh, you got to make sure that's in the right place. And if it's not, you're going to be in trouble. There. That's it. So let's go ahead and put the screws back in. Now remember, this one is a short one. Now just from experience putting things together, you want to put all these in first, at least the back panel, before you snug everything down. Because you don't want to mess the, mess the fit up. Because if you do that, you're going to go back and have to take everything back off. So you want to screw these down gently. There we go. They really don't go down that many turns, maybe four. And then here's these real tiny ones. And these are the ones that are going to be kind of a pain. But everything is lined up nicely. All these holes are good. so tight, or maybe they just put so much Loctite on it that was in there so tight that there was just no way without being really careful that you're going to get that in there. So, or, uh, so let's tighten these down. And I know this can be kind of boring, but I just want to show you how, how careful you really need to be with these little screws. You really don't want to strip them out at all. They're not in there. You don't need a ton of torque to tighten them down. And they're nicely, they're not going anywhere. They still have a little bit of Loctite on them. I've stripped a fair amount of bolts and things in my days, so I don't want to do that. So make sure this is up when we put our cover back in. Here's the battery. Battery goes this way. Oh, I'm sorry. Goes this way. There we go. Click, excuse me, clicks down right there. This is going to sit right like this, and we'll make sure that it starts up okay. That's it. So we're back to the, the case it was. Let me show you. Make sure it starts up okay. This is the first time starting it up with that RAM in it, so let's see what happens. 